Hello and welcome to a mini Lego haul video. I got these minifigures from a Lego store. I got this bag from an independent brick store and I got this bag from a thrift store. Also consider subscribing to Board Games Bricks and Hobbies. It's totally free and helps support the channel. So let's start off with the minifigures over here. Uh, I just wanted to get some more variety because when I was collecting Lego more actively, uh, Lego still didn't have all these fun colors and uh, sh uh, so many short legs and things like that. Uh, but over here, I liked the overalls on this one, and uh, you can never go wrong with pizza. You get one accessory for each minifigure uh, in a three-pack. And then over here, I liked this one. I was kind of going for a sorcerer look, and uh, I liked the hair color, and then the flask. And then the last one here is kind of a, a sports jacket, and the hair piece, I believe, originated... Uh, in the Monkey Kid series, and then I don't think I actually had any popsicles, so there you go. So that's that, and uh, over here, uh, this is a bag that I picked out, so let's go through. So I didn't have really any sort of set objective with these, there's nothing that I'm actively uh, working on building, but I did get a couple of these arches. Uh, they work well for trees and stuff, so that's probably what those will be used for at some point. Uh, a couple of these wall pieces. Put those to good use. Uh, I like printed pieces, so whenever I see fun printed pieces. Uh, granted, this is a fake window, yes. I, it's probably from a 4 plus Disney set, would be my guess. Uh, but also, a lot of Disney rides have fake windows. It's a facade, so not uh, does it is something that could exist in a Lego city. Uh, tires. These are, these are pretty common pieces, but I if I can find groups of four, then I can I will usually grab them just so I can build more vehicles. Uh, these are from the Mars Mission series. And I like this color scheme, so whenever I see this kind of stuff, I pick it up because I think it's cool. Uh, this, I have no idea what this was from, but it looked cool, so I got it. I also like getting printed parts and stickers if I feel like they're useful. So, for example, this airport piece, which is actually from the airport set that I have reviewed on this channel. It's a great set, uh, but you can. I feel like it's usable in other situations, so it could be a, a roadside directing people to the airport, something like that. Uh, and I'm not opposed to stickers as long as they're useful in other situations, so in that case uh, I feel like it is useful. More stuff for building trees, more wall pieces over here, and a couple plates. Towards the end I did kind of just start grabbing a bunch of, of the more pastel colored pieces just to fill the bag because again when I was collecting Lego this stuff didn't exist uh, and I'm still collecting Lego but I'm just not actively purchasing new sets as frequently as I did in my childhood and so I think it's fun to get some of the newer fun pieces and colors that have come out in friend sets and and other sets so kind of towards the end there, I was just grabbing a lot of that. Uh, so hence you'll see the pastel colors scattered throughout here. Just trying to build up enough that I can build something with them and have it be a consistent color. There was a couple garage door pieces. I'm assuming these are from a fire station, uh, but I always grab those because they are useful. It's an old, uh, I think this is for scuba diving, I don't remember, it might have been from the AquaZone series, something like that. This is a, a drum lacquered piece, I think there's another one somewhere in here that I grabbed. And again, more, more prints, I got a lot of printed little tiles. I have no idea what this is from, it looks like a, a microwave or a bomb countdown, not not entirely sure, but printed pieces, printed porthole, 
things like that. The, these are kind of common, but I still like having them. Uh, pirate flag. Well, that's not a pirate flag. It's a, it's a good it's a good people. I don't Imperials is that what it is? Anyway, is that more pastels? I also picked up a few like of these snot pieces because again they just didn't exist in the variety that they currently do. So whenever I see like I have a bunch of these, uh, but I don't have as many of these, and I think those are useful to have. Some window pieces. There was also a train door, I think, here that I got. Just one side, unfortunately, but still cool. And these newer turntable pieces, which I really like. Uh, they're a lot slimmer than the the old turntables, which were, were over about over a brick high. And these are just a lot more easier to integrate into things. Uh, this I thought. I know it's like an armor piece from, I believe this came out in Ninjago originally. Uh, it's just kind of a armor pauldron sort of piece. But I had the thought that this would look really great on the back of a tiny turbo. Um, so there's that. Some crates and things. Brown chairs. Uh, and I know that brown chairs are not super rare. They're fairly common, but I own Sente Fortress, and I have big plans for expanding it uh, when I get around to that. And so that's what these are for. Same with like the crates and stuff. Uh, more of these columns for building buildings, things like that. More printed pieces here. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a splat or a, a shrub. But there's that. Some dynamite. Minifigure stuff. Got a lot of these plant pieces because they seem fun. The old elephant trunk piece is also great for making plants. Coast, printed Coast Guard. Uh, a couple of these. Uh, I was hoping to find more of them, but there just weren't that many at the moment. These are great for making spotlights. You can basically just put them, well, not on, yellow wouldn't be a great color. So you can basically just put them on the back of a plate and then uh, you can have a, a series of spotlights. So that, uh, some picket fences. And what else do we got here? Fish. No idea what this fish is from. Probably, probably another Disney set. A window, little mini catapult, handlebars, hazard stripes. I always like these hazard stripes. They're always useful prints. Some gold. This is for a Rotuka spinner from Bionicle. These pieces always tend to get lost when you pick up used lots, so always helps to have extra of those. I also got a few just odds and ends, more unique pieces, things like this. I like the hollow studs. I always pick those up when I can. Uh, some pastries, train wheels. Uh, these are kind of the smaller ones you can use to make uh, tracks for a road vehicle that has tracks that fold down. I think this is from a Mar 4 plus. My guess is that's from a 4 plus Marvel set. But again, it was a print and it seemed fun. I think. Uh, oh, and then some, some more food, a juice box. Yeah, so I think that about covers all of that. Again, just some fun prints and random miscellaneous things. No real focus or anything, but just general parts. Push those aside there. Sorry, I just bumped the camera, didn't I? So let's brush those aside now and bring this out. Now this one, again, it was from a thrift store. They had a couple bags, but I just grabbed one because... Oh, so hopefully some kid 
uh, some child grab the other ones and not just some scalper that's going to flip them on eBay. Try to keep these separate. Here. And uh, from what I could see, these had just kind of a, oh, a, a hair. That's a fun, fun bonus. I'm curious to see if we'll get any random weird non-Lego things in here. You often do with thrift store stuff. Uh, but, so, slope from Star Wars. Helicopter stuff. Uh, but yeah, I noticed that it seemed to be mostly, uh, mostly kind of mid-2000 sets. Uh, there was some dino attack parts and things like that. Oh look, we got a pair of minifigure legs. That's unusual. I didn't. I looked inside, I didn't think I saw any full minifigures, but we'll see. So we got some basic bricks. Looks like a lot of... Oh, and there's our first non-Lego. That's, uh, I have no idea what that's from. But it looks like this is mostly grays and grays and black from and another is this a button? That is a bizarre button. This looks like mostly Star Wars mostly Star Wars things, but let's see if we have anything interesting or if it's mostly just bricks. Another catapult, that's fun. Always good for castle builds. Random Technic bit. Oh, we have a stop sign. So, seems like maybe there were some tiny turbos in here at some point. Mixel. Some hair. Okay, so another mini a connects piece. Interesting, I will have to put that in the box of connects things that I have lying around. Click hinges. Oh, another helmet. This is, uh, I don't know. Oh, this is from um, World Racers, I think? That looks like World Racers. So, another chair. Oh, this is older. It's more of a 90s piece, some AquaZone stuff. And also some pieces that look like they've been chewed up, probably by a child or a dog, one of, one of the two. More minifigure pants. And yeah, I thought I saw, I thought I saw a Batman cowl somewhere. There we go. Yep, so we have a random red Batman cowl. No idea which Batman set that's from, but I'm sure I could find it. And yeah, so that one's, this was probably less exciting than the other one that I got to pick out for myself, but still fun. 